Hi everyone, this is Dan from WebOS Roundup, and welcome to part four of our video series of tips and tricks every WebOS user should know. If you want to read our uh, our articles in more detail, uh, go to our website at www.webosroundup.com. In part one of our series, I talked about basic general uh, system uh, tips and tricks that you could do. Uh, in uh, and I also discussed some things in the launcher uh, that you could learn. In part two, we went over uh, the phone and contacts. In part three, we did email and messaging. I invite you to uh, watch those as well. Um, in this particular uh, video, I'm going to talk to you guys about um, the calendar. I'm going to talk to you guys about um, uh, a couple of browser tips. Uh, that every WebOS user should know, and also uh, one quick little uh, trick with the camera that I'm going to teach you. Um, so with uh, <clears throat> with the, with the calendar, I'll just go ahead and start off. I'm not going to show you everything that I have listed in the in the article, just because it's a little uh, clumsy to show on video. But I will show you a couple of things. So for example, if I want to delete an event, what I do is I just hold down orange key and I tap an event and I can say delete or not delete okay um, another thing you'll notice uh, I have uh, I have the accordion look uh, here uh, it really compresses the day easily into one view instead of having to scroll up and down how did I do that well what I did was you'll see here I have uh, an entry for start day and an entry for end day this is a trick that I learned um, online um, as you are right now I'm sure and all I did was, I st at the start of the day, 12.05 a.m. to 12.10 a.m. And then at the end of the day, I set it for 11.50 p.m. to 11.55 p.m. So then you set that to be a recurring uh, event forever. And so then what happens is, every single uh, event after that uh, is, is going to be uh, compressed. So it's just nice because it makes you, it, it allows you to see your whole uh, your whole uh, uh, schedule in, in in one view. All right. So um, regarding the calendar, I would recommend that you that everyone uh, use Google Calendar. Personally, that's what I use. Um, or if you use another service like Outlook or or iCal for Mac, make sure you use um, a proper syncing uh, tools. Uh, to do that uh, for Outlook Pocket Mirror by Chapura um, has pretty good reviews and for the Mac um, applications like iCal the missing sync has um, uh, pretty good reviews um, so let's go ahead and now go uh, to the web browser I'm going to show you guys a couple of things um, let's go to webosroundup.com no way really yes <laughs> webosroundup.com and what I'm going to show you guys is just a couple of things that you can do. Um, many people ask me, how do I copy, when I'm on a web page, how do I copy uh, the web address? Well, the way you do that is you just scroll up to the very top. See how I just did that? And then now I just tap, let me see, you tap there, and then I can copy paste. And you guys know how to copyright. Hit uh, the gesture area and then C, and that copies it. And then you can go to whatever other application you want and paste it by hitting gesture area V. Okay. Um, next thing that many people uh, want to know is like, what if there's a link and I want to copy the URL for someone? Okay. So the way you do that, let's find us a link, is you hold down the orange key and then you tap a link. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys can uh, get a better look. So I just hold down the orange key and then I tap that. And now you see that I have uh, these different choices. I can open this in a new card, I can share the link, um, I can just copy the URL, or if it's an actual download link, um, actually this is a this is a patch, the download URL part. Um, if that's a URL for like an MP3, I have a patch that just lets me download it. But if you don't have that patch, uh, just ignore that, don't worry about that. Okay. Now, what if I wanted to copy a picture? What if I like this this picture uh, right here that uh, that he has? Or or um, let's let's go down to another one. Let's go down to the one in the my clock review that I did earlier. If I wanted to copy that, what I do is I hold down uh, the orange key and I tap the image, and now I have several image uh, choices here. I can share the link and copy the URL again if I want. 
I can actually share the actual image or I can even co uh, copy that image uh, to my own photos. So that's, uh, that's a, a good uh, trick that you probably will be using pretty frequently. Um, and then finally, you can now copy text in a web page. How do you do that? You just hold down the shift key, see, hold down the shift key, and then just double tap um, on, on the text. And you'll see, oops, there. And you'll see that it's highlighted. Unfortunately, the way copy paste is right now on, on WebOS, you can't copy one word at a time. I still think, um, ironically, uh, it took them long enough to do it, but ironically, um, iPhone has the best uh, copy paste. Uh, this is kind of janky the way we have it, but at least we can do it. Uh, so you just hold down shift, you tap on a paragraph, you hold that, and you say C for copy, and you see that it says selection copy, and then you can paste that anywhere you like. Okay. All right. And now, last thing I'm going to show you guys is when you are in uh, landscape view, by you don't have to you don't have to read like this, like many people uh, do. You can just flick here on the gesture area, and that'll actually do a page up, page down kind of thing. Okay, so it's it's less you'll be doing less flicking and just more reading um, that way. Okay. And then finally, uh, I'm going to show you guys maybe a little trick. Hopefully it's going to work out. Um, I'm going to open the camera just to show you something. Many people don't know this, um, but uh, in the camera app, you actually can hold down the space. You can actually use the space bar to take a picture. Not only that, but if I uh, hold down um, the, space, uh, the space bar, um, sometimes it'll do uh, speed shutter. So let me go ahead and uh, just do that. Just hold, I'm going to hold down the space bar right now. And you see about every second it takes a picture. Okay? And this is kind of neat if you wanted to do like a, I don't know, like a quasi time lapse photo uh, kind of thing. You can do that. So that's a nice little trick and I thought that would, uh, uh, that, that would round off uh, this uh, this discussion with that little trick. All right. So the last next thing I would tell you guys that we're going to discuss is part five. We're going to talk about battery life, and I'm going to do a quick word on music sync. Um, I say quick word because it's a little bit hard to show on video. Um, but um, if, again, if you want to read on it, go to webosrondo.com. This concludes part four of of our tips and tricks series. Thanks for watching.